Welcome everybody. Today we're gonna talk about the wax artist. We're gonna learn how to use him. It's pretty sim simple. So in case if you already know how to use this character, perhaps it's not the tutorial for you, but we're going to s teach you the best way, one of the best way to use him, in my opinion. So let's start off with what he can do for starter. Uh, his best for his first passive, the wax code basically just says that whenever he gets stunned, he's going to recover 10% faster. And when he recovers from that, he also splatter his wax to the nearby survivor. Like example, if you are forward and you try to stun the hunter with with a rugby ball, you're gonna get a uh, 25% of the wax code coded on you. And then the second passive basically just says that you can change from the normal temperature wax to a heated one. But that's only happen when you have obtained your third skill, which or your ultimate full presence skill. His first ability is butter. Basically, it just says that he can shoot some wax out of his gun, and the more you shoot at survivor, the more interaction reduction there is for survivor, like von vaulting windows, decoding speed. When the wax reaches 100%, you're going to be trapped for 3 seconds on the spot and you can't move or do any actions. You can also use the wax to block pallets, windows, safari machine and exit gate too. And it's up to like 12 to 10 seconds about that. So the second skill is solid wax. Basically says that you can shoot a really really big goo and instantly block the window. And finally, the third ability is what makes him... And finally, the third and ultimate skill is actually what makes him very dreadful because they can change to heated wax and then when he attacks when he shoot those wax he can deal damage to you by half like a normal attack swing all right let's go with which trait is good for him i personally go with teleport or excitements when i'm dealing with a coordinator or any kind of like a harasser kind of team or, or against a painter but normally i would go with teleport to for more map pressure but some people can go with blink because like blink helps you with the, during the chase and if you really have a very very bad aim with him you probably can use patroller as at start at the end you probably won't need patrol as much as you first started off with him so potato aim get patroller that's what most people say but if you're good with his aim after that you won't even be needing it anymore the persona that i would go with wax artist is as below uh i would go with the fast chair persona if, if you know if you notice the control freak which speed up the countdown of the chair by nine percent if you max it out so that's pretty good because there's a strategy to actually using this control freak with him and of course any other pallet destroyer because like uh, you're going to be like taking a lot of pallets so you might want to destroy them fast you don't need a confined space with him because like uh, he can already block the window by his own with, with his own skill so you don't need that berserker is a good one because like when you, someone's in a chair and you're camping you definitely want to get berserker on and tinnitus definitely needed because you are going to be trying to find a survivor and tinnitus will show you where are the survivors nearby at and detention of course who doesn't know detention the red eyes on around hunters definitely need that especially when the cypher rushing on this game right now they definitely will make it to the end so make sure to always equip detention on your hunter all right boys now we're gonna play in a real match to see how we're gonna do and how i can teach you playing with this with this persona let's see since they're going to be using some forward we might need the excitement against them and it's gonna be a seer so that's gonna be annoying let's just wait until it start okay we spawn in the chinatown now the first thing we need to do is just find a survivor first of course if I spawn here, I think someone will probably spawn around that side. But let's go here. Should be someone's closer. Yep. Is that a forward? <laughs> yeah, it seems like you found yourself a forward. No, it's a batter. I probably would not go for after batter because there's no point on anyway. Oh, we got Enchantress. That's good. So as soon as you see a target, you better start shooting, but I'm not gonna be in range against that, so I will not shoot yet, but now I will. Alright, we got one hit. It seems like the better one to kite us, so let's start chasing him instead since we already got one hit on him. Start shooting. I wonder if like the enchantress wanna like help us help him. 
All right, look. No, they're probably gonna come to rescue. What you gotta do is... Oh, never mind. She's right here. Might as well. Oh, no, I missed that. She didn't want to bring it, son. So I just hate them first, you know that? It's so annoying. Since she's not even decoding. Yeah. Keep ramming me like that. So we got three survivor. That's good for the early fourth game. Now let's just camp a little bit since we already have our ultimate skill so i'll show you what our second skill can do it's basically this you charge it up and then you spew some goo now since we're camping right we gotta start using our wax just as soon as we saw a survivor just make sure they don't get to the chair see as they are looping right there i can just use second skill and just like make that make that splat on them <laughs> he almost blocked him the chandras can't wake up so there's no point for that Where you think you're going, sir? <laughs> the enchantress is running away. Start shooting as soon as possible. So we just won like that, I guess. Ah, uh, so I can't really teach much in this one because like they kind of sucks, huh? Oh, never mind. They're freaking dragon, Pegasus. Oh my goodness, why do they play like that? Okay, boys, uh, we gotta do another one because like the previous match is a little bit too um, overwhelming to to them. Okay. We're not even doing... I didn't get to teach that much. So let's just start with this one as a... Uh, as a... As a... As a... Um, you know... As a... <laughs> ah, I can't think properly! My brain! Never mind, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm very bad at commentary. But I'll show you a good gameplay. Okay? Just learn from my gameplay. Just remember that this... Solid Wets is like... You shoot a really big, big cum. And this small one is shoot a little piece. And this one is basically just say that you can change from the coal. Uh, wax to a uh, heated one and then when you have the heated damage you can make some damage of course of course all right i'm gonna show you how to actually camp with him when you have a fast share persona that i have i mean fast share trait okay now since like they don't have any harasses i might as well go teleport and it's sacred heart hospital too and don't worry if you can't find any survivor at the start of the game because like you're going to have where is that okay you're going to have this yeah you have this um trait it says that if you don't get if you haven't find any survivor in case they run away from you when they uh know your terror i mean your terror presence they're going to be highlighted for five seconds you can see every one of them so it's pretty easy to find a survivor too 
Okay, we spawned a sacred heart hospital and you know what the first thing we do? We need to find a survivor. So if we spawn here, the probability of them spawning is probably inside the hospital right now. Yeah. Just always thinks that two ciphers away from you. They're always there or on there. Yeah, and see that we found someone already. The trail's just gone so fast. Oh there you are. Start shooting as you as soon as you see them. I'm surprised it's not using his magic wand. When you see in range, you gotta predict where they're gonna go to. Make sure your aim is always up so that it's a bit longer range. Aiming up, I mean up and higher means a longer range. If you want a close range, uh, you aim down below. I will show you like I'll show you after this. Hold on. Let's share this magician first. <laughs> so, you see when you start shooting, you can aim up higher for a longer range. See that? It's far. But it probably won't be a good aim. It's not really that accurate. But if you put lower like this, it's closer. And the, the accuracy, of course, is um, much better. All right, since since we're camping, you definitely need to camp in this game, okay? It's not complaining about camping. Camping. So, so we have fast share persona. So if anyone tried to come here before the half time, you can use your skill and shoot them and freeze them for a while. That would actually help with the timer. But at this time, no, it seems like no one's gonna come and rescue him. There's I there's a tinnitus icon right there, but. Yeah, there you are. Still got the magician. But where is he? I don't see him. Magician running that way. We're gonna get magician first. What is this? What? I'm pretty sure I saw him run this way, so where oh there he is. <laughs> the doctor is taunting. Taunting me to chase after her law. But why? We already got this here. Alright, they're still probably gonna try to pallet stun maybe. Yeah, there we go. Just swing through, yeah? Just swing through early so that you can still connect your hits, even though they're pulled on pallets. Sometimes it will hit, sometimes it does not, I don't know why. It just depends on the pallet hitbox, I guess. If pallets even have hit hitbox. Now, as you can see, okay. Let her buy a bit of time, and we're gonna make sure this seer on your way. Seems like everyone's here, I might as well just wax it up. Okay, go heat up your wax and then start shooting everyone. You see that Sirius using his owl, right? But that won't protect him at all. It won't protect him from 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 getting damage. Seems like they are not decoding. What the hell is this doctor doing? Lord, really? Ah! But don't worry about getting stunned. When you get stunned, it's actually not a bad one because because when you get stunned, you're going to have you're going to spill the wax to the to the survivor. I keep I keep picking up the doctor, man. Alright, since we're done with the cooldown, we might as well start using it. Seems like they're not playing seriously, I guess. I'm not sure. Oh. 
Also, if you notice, uh, sometimes when you keep shooting, you, your aim will keep going down. And the way to do it is just like reopen back that thing. How do you say that? Oh my god, what the hell is this match? Another throwing match. Well, I guess I can't teach much, but just shoot your way out. My tutorial must be really sucks, right? Please don't give me this like button. But then you get wait what? I pick up the doctor. Oh my goodness! The perfume is gonna be like healing very slow, so I don't even bother with that. This in the end, the surrender. Should we go for another match? I'm not sure. Ah! Why is it so easy? Make it harder. And look at that freaking dragon and and griffins and all that shenanigans. This matching is so damn unfair for me. I'm telling you guys, I'm not playing with low tiers. I'm playing with high tiers player too. All right, boys. Now we're going for another round because like the first and second round was way too easy for some reason. It's way too easy. So I gotta. Oh, that's gonna be the novellas. They're gonna control each one another, I guess. No, you can't. Another novellas can't control another novellas. I mean, a novellas cannot control another novellas. In other words, the only one they can control is probably this coordinator and explorer. They cannot c control each among each other. Okay, okay, that's what I'm trying to say. Okay, you see, so like, if there's a three novellas, what? There's four novellas. So even if there's no point using excitement in this, so I guess it's either go with blink or teleport. I prefer I prefer teleport over blink, but because like in, on PC it's a bit harder to use a blink for me for some reason. But if you're on mobile, it's, it's different. On mobile, it's, of course, it's much easier. Okay, we're going to deal with uh, four novellas right now. So just keep your personas check, everything's ready. All right, we spawn into Leo memory, and I'm also going to teach you how to counter novellas in this match because there's so many novellas. Let's first try with where are they? Uh, spawn here. So one in probably in the shack. Yes, one in the shack. I already see them. We're just gonna take this guy, since he's not moving. Give me a tarot shot, thank you very much. Very nice, so... That's very foolish of you to jump right through in front of me. Now we're gonna go for a basement party. Also, if you wanna see the hitbox of the wax artist, it's like this. It's like a C curve from here. Like that. It won't hit right now. But if you want to hit, like this, it's a bit closer. Alright, now let's go get the other novelist. I'm pretty sure he's gonna like, jump down. Speed some cum. Ah. So there's just the two of them looks the same. I don't know which one's going to be the one that I need to chair. Probably the ones behind it. Yep. If it's not, yeah, I got the right guy. Another novelist. Should we chair this guy? Hmm, probably not because there's an earmark on me. Seems like we found the guy. You probably tried to rescue. There we go. See how you can actually cheese your way out with him? And we got a terror shop. Nice. I'm playing with a newbie. How am I going to make a tutorial video like this? Um, I guess this video will be about me showing my supremacy. I guess. If that's what you call it. And it's too full cypher too. What am I supposed to do, man? What am I supposed to do, man? Look, one novelist got up. Nice. Right, at the moment, let's go get him. Okay, got a tight turn on that guy. 
And we are ready to shoot more, so let's get ready. Sure, got stunned, no big deal. Oh, he's going to rescue for that guy. Oh shit, I pressed wrong. I pressed wrong direction. But it's okay, we made it in time. We still made it here, so doesn't matter. Ah, uh, in the end, just turns out very easy. Am I making it too easy? I mean, am I making it too hard for them? I'm not sure. Now we just gotta find the last no palace. Where in the world? You're probably around there, I guess, somewhere around here. Yeah, he's here. He didn't go far. And so... You know what? Okay, I'll teach... Okay, for the sake of this... I will make him kite me. Oh, never mind. He surrender. Never mind. Forget about it. Ah, uh, what is this? The old freaking eagle, griffin, mammoth, and whatnot. And I still know why. And I guess thank you for watching. I'm sorry if I uh, might if I'm very bad at this because I'm I'm still kind of new doing this. But I'll try my best to be better. So thank you for watching very much. I hope you would subscribe to me. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much. See ya.